Well, house prices are part of the chronically high cost of living in Greater Victoria, and if you're house hunting in the capital region right now, you may have noticed that it looks like a buyer's market. Inventory is up, sales are slow, but average prices are not budging. In fact, there is only one detached home in the core municipalities that will cost you less than $300,000. CTV's Andrew Johnson checked it out and joins us live with more on what rock bottom will get you here and elsewhere. Andrew. Well, Hudson, right now there are 33 homes listed in the Victoria Corps for under $400,000, but a young family looking for a decent starter home won't find it among the lowest of the low. Just off Douglas Street, you'll find what's billed as a character home on Princess Avenue. It is the most affordable house in Victoria, Saanich, or Esquimalt. In fact, the asking price just dropped big time to only $285,000. The location's pretty obviously the major negative against this home. Law is almost non-existent. The house is very small and, you know, it's 100 years old as well. We weren't permitted to take a look inside, but Juras bets the person who buys this home won't be living in it. Most Mostly for uh, future development purposes. It is close to downtown. Once we break the 300,000 barrier, we end up on Craig Flower Road in Esquimalt. This 99 year old up down duplex is vacant. The buyer is encouraged to bring renovation ideas as the building is, quote, in a very poor state of repair. This home on Scott Street was listed earlier this month at an attractive $329,900. But with a word of cautionary advice from the listing realtor, this Fernwood fixer upper is not for the faint of heart. The home actually sold quickly for above the asking price. Juras took a client through for a look and wasn't impressed. It was getting to the point where it was not livable anymore. If you have an extra $20,000 and want to buy in Saskatoon, you can go from unlivable to a newly built three bedroom with dark hardwood and maple in the kitchen. Or in Halifax, fork out another $5,000 more and this three-year-old six-bedroom home is yours if you can squeeze into its 2,500 square feet. In Greater Victoria, even with 4,600 listings on the market, slow sales and all signs pointing to a buyer's market, the average price of a home is more than $619,000 so far this year. Ask someone why and you'll get a variation of a familiar theme. As far as Canada goes, this is the nicest place you can go. You know what I mean? If you can't get citizenship, you can't go to California. You, this, is, uh, this is the West Coast. It's the best you can do. You pay a premium for living in a place where the climate is nice, and that's why people come. If you want to live here, you're going to pay, you know, pay to play, pay to live. But for many here, that means renting. And there are, of course, other options in terms of buying, like a condo or a townhouse, and secondary suites are the only way many people living in Greater Victoria are able to own a home. There are also those waiting on the sidelines, waiting for prices to come back down in Victoria to affordability levels similar to other cities. But will they or won't they? We don't know, or at least I don't. <laughs> no, I don't either. But you pay uh, to, to enjoy what we have here, don't you? I guess so. All right. Andrew, thank you. You're welcome.